Dr. Chris Ngige provoke IPOP youth as he calls Namdi Kanu agitation meaningless. Former governor of Anambra State and Minister of Labor, Dr. Chris Ngige, has angered the youth of indigenous people of Biafran IPOP by calling their supreme leader, Mazi Namdi Kanu, self rule agitation meaningless. Dr. Chris Ngigi said that while on sunrise daily morning, he said on the program to promote Igbo presidency in 2023. According to the Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ngige advised Namdi Kanu to drop his meaningless Biafran agitation and join hands with the Oanese in the Igbo to see if Igbo can produce a president come 2023. He said, being the Minister of Labor and Employment, almost 95% of Igbo youth gave being employed hardly a youth in Nigeria today that will come out to complain of not gainfully employed because President Modu Buhari has put smiles on their faces through youth empowerment programs. If Namdi Kanu should drop the meaningless in meaningless Biafran agitation today, other tribe will make sure that Igbo comes President next election and more projects will be done in the southeast part of the country. Many youth called the minister all sorts of names, claiming he is a saboteur, while others believe that he is defending and scheming his master's plan in getting Nnamdi Kanon to quit agitating. Do you think Dr. Chris Ngige? interventions or intentions are genuine on Igbo presidency. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. I think this man is very, very, very senseless. I mean, Dr. Chris Ngige doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't know what he's saying. He is he doesn't know what he is doing. What it's calm government that we have is telling Nambi Kanu to drop the ag Biafran agitation. How possible is that? Is that possible? See how he is lying to the world that President Modu Buhari employed 95% of the youth because you want to you want to you want to uh, press you want to be president of Nigeria? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Your deceitful and lying tongues will never never so uh, make people believe what you're saying. Why will you see that the Nambi Kanu should leave Biafran? Should drop Biafran agitation. How possible is that? Why will you say such a thing? Is it because you want to become a president? Because you want to become the president of Nigeria? And you're bringing such a suggestion? If you take that to the beds, I know for sure that Nami Khan will not even listen to what he's saying. We won't listen to him. I, I, I never expected, or I never expect this from um, Chris. Ngige, I never expect such a statement telling Namdi Khan to drop Biafran agitation. What kind of a thing is that? What kind of a talk is that? Namdi Khan that has. In short, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to this man. Namdi Khan that has been struggling for Biafran agitation. He has been struggling for Biafran Republic. And he. In the in the gate is tell is saying nonsense. He's saying that Namdi Kanu should drop Biafran agitation. Is is it a charm or what? <laughs> that will never be possible. Biafran or nothing else. 
is not going to succeed no matter what he says no matter what he tell nigerians no matter what did the government he will never succeed over this uh, statement over this uh, 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 over over this criticism over this criticism he will never never succeed imagine he will never succeed over whatever he says no matter what he tells the government no matter what he says no matter the advice is given namdi kanu i'm very much sure that namdi kanu will never listen to him even the government they give the government if they like they should listen to whatever ingege says all we know all biafran knows is that biafran has come to stay no matter what no matter the circumstances no matter what anybody says about namdi kanu or biafran agitation bet you bet me they will never succeed they will never succeed because i know that biafran is near already they are ready to become the independent they are ready to to to, to become to to, uh, to to be free from this country they are ready to to build up their own land to start up their own land come rain come shine biafran will not give up is it because he is planning to be the president in this country in nigeria that is why he is saying such nonsense is telling uh, is giving is is uh, calling biafran different kind of names oh sorry mr ingigi you will not succeed over this you will never succeed because biafran has come to stay biafran is a nation already so you should you should just keep quiet and watch is either it join biafran or just delete being president of his mind why is it that when some are in a bitter position other people's lives become meaningless to them jealousy is what is enveloping chris if not for jealousy the jealousy he has for the people of biafra i see no reason why he should be saying such it's stupid talks about biafra agitation imagine that i don't even know what to say, say to him a lot biafrans are really insulting him are really saying such such an uh giving him calling him different names because of the statement he just altered about the people of biafra please chris my advice for chris is that he, he should never repeat such a statement about nabi kanu anymore or people of biafra because if he says such a thing again about biafra agitation sorry to say i know what ipop members can do and i know what they will do to him this is just a sign of warning to him he shouldn't repeat such again is his choice to become nigerian president then he should go ahead and stop criticizing or telling him to to in the can to let go of meaningless biafra if he repeats or call biafra such a name again <laughs> sorry to say he will smell his leg his nyash his his butos then he will know what the biafra would do to him if it says or call ipod members names the way he has just done imagine his label would definitely be in vain if his choice is to become nigerian president so please let in, in uh, uh, mr chris 
Ngige, leave Nabikano alone. Leave Biafran alone. Leave IPOP members alone. He should not say such and it's it, just a childish words anymore concerning the people of Biafra. Because if he does, whatever he sees, he should take. He does not have anything to talk about because he has lost his credibility as an evil man. He has lost his credibility as an evil man. Shameless on him. Slave almost act and speak like a slave that they are. No matter what, it is not possible to be with them and get your share of dangerous figures of the nation of the nation's looted money into his bank and still remain normal. Guys. Guys should therefore release the reason for their um, for his ambition. Senseless and on uh, uh, repentant full and his slaves. What do they know? They know nothing about what is going on in this country. All they know is to loot, to eat money, to loot money that is coming in into the into Nigerians' accounts. So, what do they know about Biafran agitation? They, they know nothing about Biafran agitation. This is, this is why they keep saying things that are not even relevant. They keep calling Biafrans and uh, Nabikanu names because they know that very soon, Nabikanu, the very soon, Biafran will, will get its republic. We gain it with republic. We get its republic very soon. This is why. They are criticizing him and calling Namdi Kano and Biafran names. But I know that with God, with God, everything will be settled. With God, all things are possible. Biafran has gained its freedom already. By September, as I have said it before, Biafran will be free. So viewers... What is your own comment on this? Concerning what Chris Ingigi had just said. If you have any comments, drop, your drop, the drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates. Thank you.